That is delicious. And yeah, I, I love, love eating it with the plantains because it, it provides like that sweet savoriness. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like you kind of get like that. Oh. Mm, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that's my go-to right it's there. It's a good balance too because yeah. the plantains are sweet, cut some of the spice. Although you're right, it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the flavor of the meat that's been marinated. I, mean, I could eat this all day. Yes, sir. That's delicious. <laughs> Everyone, I am here with Olamide Shukumbi. Did I say it right? Yeah, you did. Okay, absolutely. he is with Spice Kitchen, serving up delicious West African cuisine. First of all, for people who don't know what that is, tell us something about the cuisine that you want to share with your diners. Yeah, yeah. So basically, like the whole point of Spice Kitchen is really to kind of like introduce West African flavors and kind of give people the opportunity to really have access to the West African culture. And tell me about some of those flavors that you use in your cooking. Yeah, so one of the main ingredients that we use is called suya spice, which is like a nut-based uh, pepper spice that is traditionally used on like roasted and grilled meats in West Africa. And it's like really popular. It's like a street food, a night food. It's like really spicy and it's really delicious. I've had it. It's delicious yeah. and so flavorful. And it's hard to describe. You're right. It's nutty. It has these spices. Yes. So, and you're going to make shrimp. Yeah, so we're gonna do a plate today with like half shrimp, half steak. So okay. here at Spice Kitchen, we kind of put suya on everything. So we have suya, salmon, shrimp, chicken, steak, and wings, Delish. which are very delicious. Oh, the wings! Yeah, that, yes, that's yes, gonna yes. be good. For those who don't know, what goes in your suya spice? So can't tell you everything, but right. the main real <laughs> ingredients really is that ground nuts. Um, it's like a West African nut. It's the ground nuts. You have a lot of cayenne peppers, ginger. You know what I'm saying? Like different forms of like. Uh, spices so it's yeah it's a lot can, of beautiful stuff in there and you can put it on anything it's going to taste good honestly yeah uh, <laughs> yeah all right. honestly anything all right how spicy is suya uh it can it can really get there it can really get there in, uh, in the heat level but because like we're really trying to have a lot of people get the opportunity to try and experience it we have like a really mild suya spice but if anybody comes in there like no i want it as hot as it can be we got you <laughs> we got you you know so I mean? all like, levels of spicy. All levels of spicy, but it's really for everybody. It's not like a really overbearing spice, it's more of a flavorful spice. Exactly. That's why I feel like with Suya, you can taste the food. It's not Absolutely. just spicy to be spicy. Absolutely. What have the diners said? What's the response been to Spice Kitchen? I mean, honestly, a lot of it has been um, on par with what it is that we wanted in terms of our vision, which is really to kind of have people be like, dang, I didn't know it tasted like this. Yeah. You know, so it's like we get that reaction a lot. And like that really just makes us really happy because that's the whole point of it, right? I right. feel like when it comes to like cuisines, um, African food isn't really like talked about. It isn't really championed as, a, as much as other cuisines are. So for us, we're trying to like put it on a pedestal, make it aesthetically pleasing, a lot modern, a lot more hip, so that we can get people to be like, dang, I've been missing this. I think that's an important mission to really expose people to what they're missing in terms of this kind of cuisine. Absolutely. Because how do they know they're not going to like it if they've never tried it? Exactly. Exactly. And so tell me about the wings. That's a different kind of cook? Yeah, this is a different kind of cook. So basically, we have these wings that we fry up, and basically, we're going to toss it in our in-house spice, uh, in-house sauce. It's like, we call it spices honey. It's like a sweet heat. Oh, yum. Yeah, it's delicious. And then we sprinkle it with the sweet spice on top. On top of the honey. Man, you get so many different flavors. Oh, that sounds like, delicious. Yeah, it's, it's, it is delicious. So it's like really, really popular. Um, I grew up like eating like mumbo sauce mumbo and sauce. like chicken wings. Cause you're from here. Yeah, yeah, I'm from here. So I grew up eating like mumbo sauce and chicken wings. And I really like appreciated how like Chinese American carryouts were able to kind of like adopt a lot of American cuisine and make it like, super popular, yeah. you know? So I'm like, yo, if they can do that with wings, I can do that with there wings, you, you know? So, right. yeah, the, so this right here is our uh, stew, right? So basically it's like a red bell peppers, onions, habaneros blended up um, using like different slow cooking techniques. We kind of like fried in like our palm oil. Because once again, we're just really trying to have people experience it. Like all throughout West Africa, you will see like different forms of something like this, right? Whether it's in Ghana or it's in, Nigeria or Cameroon, like everybody has a version of this. Of so the they, stew. Of the, like a, of a stew kind of thing, or a sauce, some people will call it as well. And they put different proteins in it, all kinds of different things, right? But for us, we just wanted to highlight the stew, right? Eventually, our goal is to really begin to start introducing more flavors, more items to people so that they can kind of get used to it and they want to experiment and go try more 
authentic mom and pop spots, right? So like that's kind of our real goal is really just to kind of introduce people so that they're more willing to go and check out stuff on their own. All right. Throw a little stew in that though, right? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So, and tell me about the newspaper. Yes, yes, yes. So the newspaper is really us paying homage to like traditional West African suya. In Africa, when we're cooking suya, it's always served on newspaper, right? It was not the most hygienic thing in the world, but nobody dies. So for this, because we can't use real newspaper, of course, we use a, a faux wax paper, which is food uh, safe. And you are from here and you've worked in the restaurant industry. What's yes. it been like for you to run your own place and have your own vision come to fruition here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've pretty much always been like kind of entrepreneur. I always had an entrepreneur mindset. So it's like for me, I just kind of wanted to be able to take my experience in the fast casual industry with my culture of West African and being Nigerian and kind of combine them. So out of that, we got Spice Kitchen, right? So it's really like the best of both worlds. My experience with my culture, it don't get no better than that. It must be so rewarding. It's a it hard is. business. It is, it is. Definitely not doing it for the bucks. <laughs> you know, at least not yet, you know? But um, ultimately, it is a labor of love. It is about really educating. It is also just about letting people that look like me, that might not be from my culture or have access to my culture, to let them know like, yo, we are very similar, you know? And if you just had a little bit more access, a little bit more like, ability to just like taste it, you know, just taste it for me and then you'll be able to know like, dang, I get it.